Well, I've been promising you a stove test so that when you go out and buy a stove, you know which one will work for you and which one won't. So we've cooked hamburgers in the last episode. You should watch that to get my impressions of all the stoves and which the stoves they are. Now we're boiling water. Uh, and, and it's hard to start them all once and get everything going and light the, light the uh, fires and turn on the jet boil, which is going to cook faster than all of them. Well, let me show you this tool that I have here that I really love and recommend that you all carry. This is made by GSI. It's a double layer, double hold, and it has cup markers and it has a lid. So you could put this in your fridge and uh, you could use it as a cup and you can use it as a bowl. It could be your soup bowl, your chili bowl, whatever. Drink, uh, store. And what we're going to use it for today to measure. I'm going to put two cups of water in here. This is a Kelly kettle and you put the water in here. So this is the chimney. You can see the fire's going. You put this on the fire and it acts as a double, it's a double hull. So as the flames come up, and I can see a lot of flames in there, uh, it, it waters, it heats the water all around. This is boiling. I mean, this boiled instantly. I don't know how many minutes it was, but it was instant. This is a, um, so there's bubbles in there. This is, um, this is sterno, and it's doing really, really well. There are bubbles. It's not far from boiling. This is, of course, butane. Oh, and it's boiling. And that hasn't boiled yet. It's getting close. Uh, that's close to boiling, is it there? This rocket stove, you got to keep feeding it. I really like this rocket stove. If I were going to burn with wood, I think I'd give that some thought. So they like thumb-sized logs in there. And now that you've got this thing going, you just drop them in. And this is alcohol. And I'm sure it's boiling. No, it's not. But it's got bubbles on the bottom. It is everything but boiling. Alcohol has worked really, really well. This is the Solo. And uh, it will burn both wood and the alcohol. And uh, once it gets cooked, we'll show you the little alcohol. Just a little alcohol stove. Like a Pepsi can stove, you must have heard of the Pepsi can stoves. You take a Pepsi can, you turn it into a stove or a tuna can or uh, any kind of those things. You make them into alcohol stoves and they're free, of course. Okay, so what do we know uh, after we've boiled water in all of them? Although I'm not 100% sure that thing ever boiled. Uh, well, the jet boil, of course, as we knew, it's a blowtorch. I mean, how fast can a blowtorch boil water? <laughs> Incredibly fast. This is so expensive. This little bottle is four or five bucks. And remember, if I hook up the propane to a, a five gallon bottle, it's three dollars a gallon. So the cost, nothing can compare, well nothing can compare to the cost of wood because it's free. Uh, but after that, nothing can compare to the cost of propane because it's three dollars a gallon when you buy it in bulk and fill a bottle. The butane, I think I, think I figured it out once, it works out to about sixteen dollars a gallon because the bottles are only eight ounces. Of course, but butane and propane work, you know, they work really, really well. You'll never regret owning butane or propane. They just work really well. We, we don't know what we're is going on with this thing. We can't get the lid off. Maybe the lid isn't supposed to be on while you're cooking. Uh, but that doesn't make sense because you want a lid on it. Uh, so, but at any rate, it can't come off. And maybe you're never supposed to put it on. It would have helped had we read the instructions. <laughs> but who reads instructions? I don't read instructions. And, and apparently we may should have because I hope we haven't destroyed this thing. This is called the Sterno Inferno. I was really amazed that it, it did boil the water pretty good. What I might would do is instead of putting this on it, just put, you know, if you found any lid that you could just set on top of it, that this couldn't happen. Um, but had I done this right, I think I'd have been very impressed with it. I was a little disappointed how long this took. Uh, I'm not 100% sure it ever boiled. And it had a lot of flame coming up out of there. 
This boiled really well. The Kelly kettle's really good as a uh, to boil. This boiled really well. Still, all comes down to you. Do you want to burn wood? Do you want to burn uh, propane, butane, or the little butane bottles? Uh, according to them, this little bottle will cook 30 meals because it cooks them so fast. It's so incredibly efficient. And you'd have to, you know, you'd have to do a, a real experiment to validate that, to know if it's true. Conclusions. Um, it's still just a matter of what you want to do. Uh, a lot of people like the wood. If I didn't go with, with butane, I mean with my propane, I would go with the Solo because you can burn the alcohol and you can burn the wood both. And it burns, wood burns quickly and well, and it's a tiny form factor. And now what's something we haven't talked about is you want to take a shower and you want to boil a gallon of water. If I'm going to warm up a gallon, a half gallon of water, uh, I would want propane or the rocket stove because you just get the rocket stove lighted, you keep pushing the logs in and it goes. Now, we didn't really talk about how the rocket stove works. Watch the video before where we cook the hamburgers and I go through it at length about running the rocket stove. This big Kelly kettle holds a lot and uh, man, it would give you a lot of water and pretty fast. To my mind, propane's the winner. It's cheap, it's easy, it's clean. Uh, it, you can control it. Uh, it's just, to me, it's just the winner. A whole bunch of you are gonna use these butane stoves and they work really, really well. No doubt about that. Uh, they cost a lot more to burn and you can't use them below freezing. If I wanted, my second choice would be the Solo stove with, uh, with the alcohol. I can burn alcohol or wood. That would be definitely be my second choice. And I really enjoyed this. But I don't want to, I don't think I want to carry this great big thing around. I don't have room in my van. It's filthy now. It's got soot everywhere. At least that, you know, this soot is contained to this one thing and you can keep it covered. You let it cool, you clean it, and then you can, can confine it. It comes in a sack and you just keep it put in the sack and the sack contains all the soot. And, and the alcohol won't have any soot. Uh, this is used, one has been used for both alcohol and wood. So my choice, personal choice, don't have anything to do with speed. I got all the time in the world. I live out here. Uh, I'm not in any hurry. I don't have to have. Uh, I don't have to have the speed of the jet boil. Um, I don't. Uh, I don't want to have to buy those canisters at five dollars a shot. Uh, I want to buy three dollars for a gallon of propane. Between this video and the last video, you have a pretty good basis of making your own decision, having seen them work. Uh, and so we're going to stop. I'm not going to tell you how long each one takes to boil. I couldn't figure it out. I couldn't get them all started at the same time. We didn't find out how much long each bottle will burn. Okay, thanks a lot. I hope you got something out of this. If you did, like us on YouTube. Uh, share us on your social media. Uh, hit that thumbs up button. And we'll talk to you later. <music>